but yeah, well, what are you gonna do? And now he's gone in phase two where he decides to make hands for some reason. And he becomes twice as annoying because he does punches like that, and especially because those barrier things that were annoying me, he likes to make two and corner you and then punch. Okay, yeah, and these hands act as barriers. Annoy the ever loving crap out of me. Alright, two hits down. Screw you, dude. And he's probably gonna try to make a barrier soon in order to try to hit me. Yep, see? Even from behind. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for him to try to punch me. Yeah, that didn't really work that well. And then he will regenerate his hands. Which I am annoyed to crap by because it's really difficult and very hard to manage. But luckily he was an idiot and he did another move instead of the one that should have worked. And it only takes two hits to really kill him. Luckily. And then boom. And off that we got him done. And most likely after I get this star, the comet's gonna appear. Yeah, I remember, I think I was recording this segment, and I had another rage quit about at this point of the game. Because I'm just like, I'm trying to verse Boulder Ghost with one health, and I'm like, you know what, screw it. Because I really hated this boss with one health. I essentially, this boss is... That's my keyword, quite. He's difficult at a point where he's extremely annoying. Oh, sh shit, I don't have to do it? Okay, fine, I'm gonna do the, um, Secret Star next. But yeah, he's quite a difficult in the fact that, um, he has all these projectiles and stuff that can just sneak up on you if you're not really paying attention. So, I can screw you over if you're, uh, not very observant, and at times, I space out, <laughs> and I don't know what's happening, so yeah, you, you people, excuse me, you, you people already know about that, so you can already, you can already vouch for me that at times I'm just kind of like, ooh, when I'm not completely absorbed into the game like I am currently where I'm talking, somehow I will have very odd ways of, like, being crazy. Like, right now, I wasn't paying attention for at least two seconds, and that two seconds could have killed me. And an easy thing to do here is just ignore a key. Just jump over the wall. It's that simple, people. And you want to get this thing, and this thing will move backwards in one sec. Urgh. Itchy nose. Alright, back to the game. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I rage quit here at this point in the game because I'm just like... I could not get the stars, um, easily, and I just kept dying because I was just being an idiot and trying to rush. I, I, I think I just, the problem with my gameplay is, I try to be overly good when, well, people, I'm not. Like that. I just killed myself because I was being an idiot. I'm not overly good at this game, and I admit that. I mean, if I was, I'd be like, got all expert of this and be like, this is what you gotta do, and, da -da 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 -da, and be like, speedrunning it, but no, I, I'm not good at this game, nor am I good at, like, any video game, period. I mean, I'm bad at games, I mean, there's other people out there that are just, like, phenomenal at video games, and that's good for them, I mean, if you're good at something, do it, dude. I mean, the, se the same thing can be said about all things in life. I mean, not everybody is good at something. People are better at things than other people. Video games isn't my strong sh stu sh Neither is words. My strong, um, area of anything. It, it's really, I do this for fun. Not really for subscribers, but because it's enjoyable and takes my mind off of stuff. I mean, if I didn't do it for that, I mean, I would be kind of depressed most of the time because I wouldn't have anything to do, and without this, I couldn't escape my own reality. And because of it, I would be kind of a more messed up person than I am. Everybody has problems, and this is my way of dealing with it in a way. If I can deal with stuff, I can 
get through my another day. And that's what I plan on doing. I just keep on trying. Because if you don't try, well, you won't succeed in anything in life. It's mostly say eh, the same thing can be said about everything in life. You gotta at least try. If you don't try if you don't try to get the game, then you're never gonna succeed then. And in this middle door is our star, but yeah. Just try, people. It's all can be said. If you can do something, then do it. Don't whine, bitch and complain. Just try something for once. Get out there. Have fun. I mean, even if you, like, even things can be said. If you don't think you can do Let's Plays, don't care what other people say. Say your Let's Plays are crappy. Just do it. I mean, if you want to do something, do it. Don't hold yourself back because other people tell you you can't do anything. And you'll be good at it. I mean, it takes time and it takes practice. That's That can be all... That's all that has to be said. It just takes time. Just try your best, and eventually, you'll have something that people want to watch, or people want to spend time with you. And now we're down to this thing where I originally raged quit, so eh, hopefully this won't be as bad as that segment. So it's Boulder Ghost again. Nothing the same, he's just, you have one health. That's about it. Yeah. And I believe this is the first Daredevil run that is available in the game. And this boss I consider to be hard, but not the hardest. There we go. Two hits down, and then he's probably going to create a wall. Yep, right. No, 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 he's not going to create a wall for some reason. Ah. Okay, whatever. Phase one. There we go. Yeah, you want to watch out because if you're not careful enough, um, that um, the ghost can fling itself right back into you. Now, I'm going to probably concentrate a lot because, yep, this fish usually kills me if I don't pay attention correctly. So all of my attention is going to be directly towards the screen. Ow, and that killed me. I ran right into a ghost. Ugh. Joy. Yeah. I would say out of all of the Daredevil runs, this one is probably a little bit more difficult than the rest of them because of the fact that you need projectiles in order to hit him, and he can usually create barriers and stuff that can kill you, essentially, super easily. It's not because of all the stuff it is. It's just... He's a very annoying boss. If it wasn't for the one health difficulty, he would go down much more easier than he should. I mean, he's the only. Let's see. Yep, save barriers. The, these things would kill me more enough than not than most things in this fight. Because of the fact that they're just. They just kind of come up at random points, and that's what I don't like. There we go. But, yeah, uh, it's not the fight is too difficult, it's just extremely annoying at times. Especially these hands. I, I hate these hands. The hand spawning thing is just always quite annoying. Uh, so, now we have to wait for him to spawn only... Oh, uh, no. Ah, sweet! Two free hits, and now he's gonna punch. It's not as epic as a falcon punch, but regardless, it's still annoying. Bomb, rock, 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 bomb, rock, rock. Uh, watch out for that. Nice! Okay. Well, expecting much more. There we go, and that's the whole boss fight. Again, uh, yeah. As I said before, I raged quit for particular reasons, but this 
does not make me rage quit. Eh, maybe it's because I'm more tuned down than I have been yesterday. Yesterday, I think it was because of that one star. It just pissed me off for the whole segment that I eventually just decided not to. And it's funny because it took me over an hour to get to this point, and I'm not even an hour in, luckily. Yeah. I might not exactly do two hour segments each time. I think I'll stop at, uh, two hours and 30 minutes, but yeah. I'm gonna go check on Toad because there should be another, um, Star collecting thing pretty soon. Through the poison swamp. Okay, this one. Luckily, this one is not too difficult. It, it, it introduces a new mechanic for the game that has not been previously seen up until this point, so yeah. That's the thing with, um, let's talk about Super Mario Galaxy 2. Super Mario Galaxy 2 took out some annoying games and stuff that was in the first title that were, in my opinion, like, really annoying. Like, um, these, this section, this kind of section was taken out, and I don't care about you, Billboard. Billboard. I don't care. Nobody cares about the billboard. But yeah, it, it took out sections like this in the game because they were quite annoying if you weren't used to them in the first game. And they took them out because apparently everybody like raged quite over these, especially some of the later sections where you have to be... Um, um, the secret stars I told you about earlier. Yeah, those ones were quite annoying. No, careful, careful, careful. Yeah, you want to be careful in these sections because there are bombs, and bombs will instantly despawn you out of your bubble, and you'll fall into this poison crap. I don't know what it's exactly called. It's just a poison swamp. The, set, the same thing can be said of all swamps. Shut up, Wii mode. Yeah, sweet. But yeah, these poison swamps are really, like, poisonous swamps are something that's been there for years. I mean, it's not something new, but I mean, whoever is idiotic enough to go into a swamp, it's, uh, it's kind of crazy. I mean, there is some creepy stuff in there, like poisonous snakes and all these other things in that biome. Like, uh, what are some other things that are uh, in swamps? Besides, um, cranberries. Yeah, if anybody hasn't known, cranberries are actually grown in swamps, which is kind of disturbing to me. I'm like... R really? Ew. Yeah, I, I was previously unaware that cranberries existed in swamps until, um, I believe it was a few years ago when I was told this fact. I'm like, well, that's, I gotta say, that's very disturbing. Yeah, so, I was told this fact, and I'm like, okay then. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta watch out for some of these areas, because they're bomb heaven. Like this area over here. And like, all these blocks look like they're produced so crappily. There we go. Yeah, I got past. Alright, sweet. Okay, and... Thank you, Barry. And I think we are close to the star, and this is where they start spamming a crap load of bombs. Yeah. They really go bomb crazy on this area. And the closer you get to the star, the more bombs there are. Well, sort of. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. Oh, right. I don't really need to worry about it. If it was over a poisonous swamp, I think I would be kind of ticked off that's there. But then we essentially, we got all the, uh, we got all these stars, so, awesome. And I believe that's the last of all the stars in this area, so, there's only one thing left to do. Yep. Okay, don't care. We have to get 